Oh great, I just love it when they're bullets. What if I told you that I destroyed all these bots using just a plasma shotgun? You wouldn't believe me. But we are in that period where Arrowhead decides to amp up some of the weirder weapons. Yeah, let's not call them weird, let's call them unique weapons. And it's fair to say that it is welcomed by the majority of the Helldivers community. Unless, of course, you're one of those who just don't want change and want to keep using the same thing over and over again. I used to run the plasma shotgun a lot when it got released. It has high damage output and great stagger to boot. The only downside of it was that it shot like a grenade launcher and you had to calculate the trajectory of your shots when you're engaging from medium to long range. But now, Arrowhead decided to let it shoot like a micro missile and I am loving it. They did adjust its ammo capacity, which is kind of a weird adjustment in my opinion, but it does fill the way up when you grab supplies, so it's not all bad. If you haven't tried this weapon yet or don't even know what it is, let me give you a quick rundown. The plasma shotgun is the second primary weapon you can get from the cutting edge premium warbond. It's an explosive weapon and it fires energy balls that drops off at range. It has an area of effect damage, so keep that in mind when enemies are close. I really love what they've done with the weapon, and I had so much fun using it, especially against the bots. I only have one complaint. Huh? Okay, I am getting downed by my own shotgun. Is that because I have a shield? It's because I have a shield, don't I? It is because I have a shield. Why can't I shoot through my shield, Arrowhead? Questions will be asked and would be would like to be answered at an earlier date. Please let me know. Bro, why man? I just want to use a shield, bro. Okay, well that entire time was just me complaining about me not being able to use the shield. That moment just felt like, you know, that homecoming scene. But I'm nothing without this suit. If you're nothing without this suit, then you shouldn't have it. Of all people, dude. See how you like it. No! I'm stark naked. Anyways, here's how it performed against both factions. This might be my new favorite weapon against the automatons. Like I said, I had so much fun using this. It destroys pretty much everything except for the heavies. The smaller grunts, you don't even have to hit them directly. You lay them out pretty easily. Just be careful with the jumpy boys that explode. Because if you get down by your gun, and they explode at the same time, it is pretty much certain death. The best thing about this weapon against the bots in my opinion, is because of its stagger. The devastators get stun locked and you can dispose of them before they can fire back. But if they do fire at you, and that happens, you can cancel their momentum with just a shot. Especially the heavy devastators, which are the biggest threat in this faction, in my experience at least. I don't know about you. The scout striders, when you're shooting them, they take two shots now before the rider gets down because of the recent buff for the rider's explosive resistance. It used to be just one shot, but it's not a big deal. I am talking about when you're shooting them from the front. When you're shooting them from behind, they still get down in one shot. Berserkers, they can only be a threat if they get too close. But if you manage to space out a bit, they just get perma-staggered and they just die. Heavies, you can deal with them by shooting their reactors from the back, but I wouldn't really recommend it since it takes a lot of effort. Again, just stick to your anti-heavy assets, same with the gunships. Having a projectile weapon that drops off doesn't really sound like a good idea. Overall, it deals with the majority of chaff with ease. So I'll give this weapon an ECS against the automatons. Against the Terminids, it's pretty much the same, just a tad bit easier since you don't have to do some geometry shooting. Small chaff such as the hunters and scavengers, they are dealt with ease. The only issue is still the same as every explosive weapon, that if they're close enough, you really can't use your primary since it will knock you down and you don't want that. Mediums are easy pickings. Having that stagger really stops those pesky brood commanders from charging in willy-nilly. And the hive guard's armor, they are pretty much useless against the plasma's explosive damage. 
Stalkers are pretty much the same as the bots berserkers. They are only a threat if not stopped earlier. But if you do get to shoot them as they're trying to get to you, you just stagger them and kill them in four shots. The only downside of this primary is that it sucks against the flying bugs. Projectile weapons really don't cut it against them. Chargers and Titans, you really don't do much against them. The Chargers maybe, you can take advantage of the explosive by shooting it under its legs to damage its butt. But it takes a lot of work. Again, just kill it with fire. Or whatever you have that deals with heavies easier. After using it again after some time, the Plasma Punisher, I'm sorry for calling it the Plasma Shotgun, but then again, it's just easier to call it that way, so I don't know why I'm apologizing. Anyway, I'm getting off track. The change for this weapon doesn't really sound like much on paper, but it makes it an entirely different weapon once you actually get to use it. The ammo changes doesn't really bother me that much, and I think it's strong enough to be embedded in our builds. I mean, even before, it was already strong, it was just that it felt clunky to use due to its projectile mechanic. But now, it's just so much better. Regarding the shield thing, I really don't know if it's an intended mechanic, but it is really annoying that you can't use the shield when you're using this weapon, seeing as I crutch on the shield especially against the bots. Yeah, I crutch on the shield, <laughs> what about it? But seriously though, if you can go without the shield, then this weapon will give you a fun time. So go ahead and give it a try. I think Arrowhead really cooked something with this patch. Now I'ma go ahead and try the explosive crossbow next since I was really disappointed with its release and here's to hoping that it's actually better now. I hope you found this video helpful and go and spread freedom Helldiver.